Hello and welcome back to Stackstorm Deep Dive. I'm Rick Kaufman, Global TME here at HP at Rubin Networking. Say, so what we want to do is we want to take the next step in our journey here and talk about Stackstorm some more. What we want to talk about today are sensors. Sensors are something we can write inside of, of Stackstorm and we can have them activate what we call triggers. So a sensor, let's say there was a default interval timer. That's one of the sensors we can use. And we can say every five seconds, make this trigger hot. And in there, it would point to a rule. We covered rules in our last episode. So the sensor loads the trigger. Once the trigger gets hot every five minutes, if that's what our interval was, it would go out and wake up the rule. The rule would wake up the actions and we would have something going on. So let's see how that all works right now. Now I'm out here on GitHub looking at some packs. And I have a pack here on the Stackstorm, um, Stackstorm Twitter pack. It's out on the exchange. And I click on this little circle here in the middle. And it takes you to the GitHub repository. So when I'm in there, I want to look at their sensors. And I'm not a sensor expert, but these are probably the the next hurdle for me in my Stackstorm development career is to really understand these sensors. But I barely understand this one. And so I'm going to take you through what I know of it. So um, there's a YAML file and a Python file. In the YAML file, you see they have the same names. And the YAML file, um, just introduces that um, Python file. So it says we're going to do a Twitter search sensor and we're going to say um, our entry point is going to be this Py file and these are the, some of the things we're going to get in the payload when we, we actually match this thing. Okay, that's the YAML file that introduces the Python file. And when we dig into the Python file, we're getting um, Twitter search imports here, and then we're setting up a um, base URL, and this kind of goes into the polling sensor. It looks in the config file, that config file we talked about. It's looking for some keywords there. Um, sets up Twitter dot match tweet. So we'll. If we match something in here, we'll go to the Twitter pack and run the match tweet action. And we set up our consumer keys here. So there's a bunch of API keys that you'll need to be able to get your integration with Twitter. I'm not going to show you this in this in this course because so it's probably going to be the next thing. But the, this I'll give you some description of what this is doing. It's pretty cryptic to me, but we we authenticate here. We say we're going to get some sort of config here, or something to match, like a screen name or something. But down here is the polling part. This is where we start polling. And we um, look in the config, and we, we set our query. So this is the thing we're looking for in the polling function here. And it goes down, and it, it does some stuff. But basically, this is the part where it's out searching Twitter. And when it finds a match, it will go ahead and call this part dispatch trigger for tweet, and it will pass the tweet to this function at the bottom down here. And this sets up a URL, it sets up the payload, and it starts getting the information in that tweet and loading up these uh, key value pairs in order to return. And so when this thing runs and returns this, it runs this match tweet, and that match tweet will will take action on some other stuff. Pretty cryptic here. I'm still learning how sensors all work. For the most part, the sensors that I usually rely on are the um, default timers. So if you're working with systems and you have alarms in system A and you want to put them in service now, you'll probably want to do that um, like every five minutes when that occurs. So every five minutes I go and get alarms and, and put them away. 
So that's about the only thing I'm using to um, to load triggers in Stackstorm. I have used this in the past. It's not hard to set up, but trying to understand this code, it's it's a little deep for me. It might be good for you, but uh, I'm still working on it. But that's everything I know about sensors. They're out there. You can dig into it. If you can figure it out, great. That's awesome. I'm still working on it myself, but I'm getting a better understanding of how they work. But that's all I know about sensors as far as going out and listening for events.